Have you ever seen an airplane going in reverse? That's because they can't. And that's why pushback tugs exist. And yes, this vehicle is more than capable of towing heavy aircraft up to 500 tons at a time. And they're a must have for every airport. Do you want to know what else they're capable of? Before we dive deep into what pushback tugs are and why they're so important, we have to take a look at what the term pushback means. If you're a true fan of aviation, you probably know this, but for those of you who don't, we're more than happy to explain it to you. The definition of aircraft pushback is the rearward movement of the aircraft from a parking position to a taxi position by using specialized ground equipment. Once the aircraft has landed on the runway, its job is to either move to a parking space or move to the taxi position it needs to be in. For this purpose, they usually use tractors or as we know them today as pushback tugs. These vehicles are known by many names. Pushback tractor, tug master, tug, even towing tractor are some of the names used for it. The main goal for this tug is to push or tow the aircraft into the right position on the ground. After the airplane lands and all the servicing activities are finished, the aircraft has to get back on the runway for takeoff. But since the aircraft can't go in reverse, a pushback tug is used to get the aircraft into the right position. If you've ever been to an airport, the chances of you seeing these vehicles are high, and due to their unique looks, we're sure you won't miss them. They come in various shapes and sizes, but they all have the same functions. If you're wondering why they're also referred to as a tractor, that's because back in the day, when runways weren't concrete, after a plane had landed, they would find the nearest tractor and hook it to the aircraft to move it around. Today, we have specialized vehicles for this job, but the name has remained. Now, back to the pushback tug's job of pushing aircraft. You might wonder why can't an aircraft move on its own? Well, even though it has an engine on its own and is perfectly capable of moving forward from landing to the airport gate, it still lacks the capability of going backward. Many aircraft are actually capable of reverse thrust that, in theory, can allow the airplane to reverse from the gate. But this technology is mainly used by pilots to slow down the aircraft after landing on a shorter runway. The reason they don't usually go in reverse is that it reverses the direction of the jet thrust that can prove itself to be very dangerous to people and cause damage to the jetway. The engines produce thrust by high temperature and high velocity air behind the aircraft. So if the thrust reverses were to be activated, the thrust would be directed towards the airport building. Due to this reason, it requires additional help to move the aircraft around. But why would it need help moving forward? It's simple. They do this to save on fuel and not waste it while the aircraft is on the ground. Each pushback tug has the same basic purpose. To smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no. They have to move the aircraft from point A to point B. Usually, these tugs have a diesel-powered engine and a transmission that's geared very low, with a chassis design that keeps the body very low to the ground. This is in order to avoid collision with the nose or wings of the aircraft and keep a low center of gravity that helps with steering stability. The driver of the tug sits behind the big steering wheel and communicates with the pilot while he moves the aircraft. Just like any car, this tug has a horn, lights, and a gear shifter. When the tug is needed, it approaches the aircraft and hooks itself to the plane on a special towing hook that's located on the nose landing gear. It might look impossible for such a small vehicle to tow such an extremely heavy and sometimes large aircraft, but don't underestimate this powerful tug. It's built to be extremely heavy, with large wheels that make it compatible with wide-body aircraft that weigh upwards of 50 metric tons. So when an aircraft is ready to be towed, the pushback tug arrives, hooks to the aircraft, and makes sure the plane goes to the desired location. Traditionally, they use a tow bar to attach the tug to the airplane which is still widely used around the world and offers a safe method of moving aircraft. However, today, there are a few other methods that are used for the same thing. One of these innovations is the tow barless tug, which by the name you can tell doesn't use a tow bar. Instead, it has a hydraulic system that is able to lift the nose off the ground and support it on its chassis. The main advantage of this tug without a tow bar is that the tractor is lighter than the conventional one or the one with a tow bar, which makes it more fuel efficient. Due to the reduced weight, it can also bring cost savings on maintenance as the engine, chassis, and other components tend to work under a reduced load. It can definitely be a better option than the tow bar tug, but in the end, both of these tractors do the same job, and what matters most is that they're able to manage an aircraft by moving it around and doing it safely.
Although the tugs with a tow bar and those without one are some of the most popular and most used ones across the world, there are a few innovations that might even be better than the original two. So we'll share with you the ones that are worth mentioning and that we believe will change the future of pushback tugs. One of them is the TaxiBot, which is a tow barless tractor with an onboard computer system that receives all the instructions from the pilot in the aircraft instead of the driver doing everything. However, after the operation is completed, the driver allows the pilot to use aircraft controls to maneuver the aircraft. Another innovation that will for sure change the future of pushback tugs is the MotoTalk. This is a remote control electric towing vehicle that has all the benefits from the tow barless tug but without the need of a driver. It can easily be controlled by the ground crew and with the incredibly compact design and fully electric drive, it will eliminate the cost of fuel and the need for drivers as well. It's very simple to use and you have a clear view of what's going on so you can make the most precisely controlled movements. They're used not only as a replacement to the conventional pushback tugs, but also inside the hangars and production facilities where they're used to help maneuver the airplane more precisely and safely. The wheel tug technology is still under development, and yet it's the one we're most excited about. It's not a pushback tug, but it's a powerful electric motor wheel that allows the aircraft to maneuver on the ground without the need for a pushback tug. The idea is incredible and fascinating, and with this, it can eliminate the need for pushback tractors and the job can be done more efficiently. This way, the pilot will be able to have full control over the aircraft and control it on the ground without needing help from someone else. The device consists of electric motors which are connected to the nose gear, which are powered by the aircraft's electrical system. With this innovation, we're expecting to see a quicker time for the airplane to get into its position and eliminate the expense that goes into pushback tugs. Speaking of funds, having a pushback tug isn't an inexpensive thing. Just like anything in the aviation world, these also cost a lot of money. But they're built to safely move airplanes, which sometimes can weigh over 200 tons. Because of that, they need to be heavy and very durable to be able to tow such heavy aircraft. It's always been fascinating to see such a small-looking tug towing a huge aircraft, but that is the reason why they're made. In addition to that, they cost more than what you think. A used tug is said to cost anywhere from $15,000 to $50,000, so you could imagine how much a newer, more advanced one could be. But buying one could bring some economic benefits. The best option would be green electric tugs, as they have a lower center of gravity and are very heavy from the battery packs, which comes in handy in the colder months. The ones that run on diesel engines are known to be sometimes hard to start in cold climates, which can be a real problem for airports when airlines need to have their flights leaving on time. There are a lot of factors to consider about pushback tugs, such as the people working on them and their paychecks. So in order to get the full economic benefit, one has to reduce the workers from five to one per tug or go to fully remote controlled tugs, which will require no workers to control them from the inside. However you want to look at it, pushback tugs are a necessity at this moment at each airport. While we wait for the aircraft to create a way so they can move in reverse on their own or forward without wasting fuel, we have to use tugs. So next time you're at the airport, pay attention to the small vehicles driving around and try to imagine how they can tow an extremely giant aircraft. Or better yet, you'll even get the chance to see it in action. Bye for now!